G'day Smoke and Dagger fans, today we're doing Barn Me. Barn who? Yes, Barn Me, not Barn You. Barn Me? Follow along and check it out. <laughs> Alright, for this bad boy, we're going to need kaffir lime. We're going to need some lemongrass. Some shallots. And some garlic. Then we're going to add in some fish sauce and some sesame oil. Then some turmeric. Five spice. And chili flakes. Add a pinch of salt. Then grab your chicken thigh and give it a good dousing. Should look a little bit like this. Once that's done, get your smoker set up and we're going to let these sit for a while. Look at that, looking good. Give them a flip, make sure they're evenly cooked on both sides. Flip it over to your mate to dice it up. Now you're ready for the assembly. Grab your bun and spread some pate. Add some sriracha and then some mayo. Get some crushed peanuts. Add your chicken thigh. Be generous here, you like a meaty bun. Add some sliced cucumber, some slaw, some pickled carrot, and some fried shallots on top. She's looking pretty good. Don't forget that coriander. Douse it with a bit more mayo. Bit more sriracha. Then sprinkle in chilies to taste. Look at that, lovely. That is a thing of beauty if I've ever seen one. But it's not all about looks. How does it taste? <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in. This is good. <laughs> Completely non-conventional barbecue food item, but banh mi's definitely deserve, deserve the time and the space on your grill plate this summer. I think the fresh flavors that you get from the salad, the mix, the mayo, sriracha, everything coming together really brings a bun me to a completely different burger level. I'm loving this one. I'm going to get stuck in. If you've got any questions or comments on how to get a bun me on your plate, put it down below and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh. <laughs>